In this video, we are going to see a numerical problem based on the property number 1 which we saw in the previous video. So, we know what is the property. The property says that the value of determinant does not change or remains unchanged if the rows and columns are interchanged. So, we have to verify the above property for a determinant and the determinant is such that it is A which is equal to having these elements. Now, if this determinant is given to me and I have to verify the property, I will have to get started with the values. So, let us get started with the solution. The solution would go as the heading of proof and I would be starting with it. I have A is equal to a determinant. Let us expand it. Expanding along any row or column does not change anything. So, let us expand along the first row. So, I write expand along R1. If that is the case, I have what? I have 1 into something. So, what is 1 into something? That is the same thing. That is the other thing. So, I do not need to write 1. There is no use of writing 1. So, eliminate the first column. Eliminate the first row. You have a subdeterminant. Just write that subdeterminant. It is 5 to 0 1. Right? Now, next is what? Taking into consideration the 0 element. 0 multiply by something. Now, what is 0 multiplied by something? It is 0 only. So, just ignore this. You have then plus 5. So, you write here plus 5. And what is the subdeterminant? Ignore the third column. Ignore the first row. You have 3, 5 minus 1, 0. Now, what is to be done? Simply and simply you need to evaluate this. Cross multiply here and here. Cross multiply here and here. Mind it, this is 0, right? Now, it is 5 ones of 5 minus 0 into 2. 0 into 2 is 0. Do not change anything. Plus 5 into something. Now, what is 3 zeros are? It is 0. What is 1 5s are? It is 5. And you have minus here and one more minus. So, it is 5. So, the answer is 5 plus 25 which makes it 3 0 30. But this is the answer for the given thing. If you now have a subdeterminant or a determinant which is having the rows and columns interchange, the values are to be changed or not, that we have to evaluate. So, if the given determinant is determinant A, let me write a new determinant and that determinant I suppose is A dash. It has the rows and columns interchange. So, it is 1, 3, minus 1, 0, 5, 0, 5, 2, 1. This is what we have done. Now, let us evaluate amongst anything. First, we evaluated along the first row. This time, let us evaluate along the first column or anything, right? So, this is C1, C2, C3. C1 is the first column. Expand along C1. Expand along C1. What happens? Let us see. 105 is here. What do we do? First, we write 1 into something. 1 into something is that thing. Leave 1. You have a subdeterminant, write it, 5, 0, 2, 1. Then you have 0 into something. Now, what is 0 into something? It's always 0, leave it. Next is 5. So, you write 5 and it is plus 5 into a subdeterminant. What is it? Let's see. Ignore this third row, ignore the first column. You have 3 minus 1, 5, 0. What is the answer? We have to see. Cross multiply here. Cross multiply here to get the answer. It makes me 5 ones are 5, 0 twos are 0, leave it, plus 5 there. In the brackets you see 3 zeros are is 0, minus 1 into 5 is what minus 5. Since we are going down to up, you have to write here plus 5. Now, 5 into plus 5 is 25, 25 plus 5 is 30. So, it is 5 plus 25 which is 30. Now, see the values. 30 here, 30 here. That means what the values are same and the values are same. That means what? If you have two determinants and those two determinants are such that only the rows and columns are interchanged, the values don't change at all.